Welcome back everyone to another Fantasy 14 video. I thought I would check out Zeppler's Blue Unlock quests. Normally I get notified about videos, it didn't this time, so I'm a little bit slow to the game. Um, she's a great content creator for Fantasy 14. She does a lot of like good information. She's just cleared uh, the the Alexander Ultimate. I couldn't remember what it was there. I normally call it by T. <laughs> um, I'll link our channel and our Twitch in the description. Go over there, like, follow, subscribe to each of them. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just thought this video would help out say, people that's new to the game because it seems to be a wave of new people. Um, there's probably a lot of quests I've totally missed, so I just thought it'd be really helpful, you know? So, yeah, we'll just start the video. Hey, Ben. So, if you are new to Call of Duty 14, you might be drowning in blue unlock quests, and the game doesn't tell you which ones are really important and which ones you could easily put off to later. So, today, yeah. we're going to go through level by level using this Epic City Gamer Escape article as a reference. Okay, and I, I actually never really looked this up or knew about this, so I will put that also in the description for you guys um, to help you out. And this link to this article will be in the description box down below. I'm going to just tell you which ones that, if I were you, which ones I would do now as I was leveling, what I would put off, what I think you might be actively screwing up your playthrough by not unlocking. Remember, many blue... Yeah, there's a... Probably a lot of people where, like when I started, where you had to do a lot of side quests, so I literally picked up everything, and later down the line, I'm pretty sure they patched it and put little blue icons to let everyone sort of know, um, you know, these are like, these will unlock things, or these are worth your time, basically. Blue unlock quests are gated behind main story progression, so if you're at the right level for something, but you don't see it, check your main story quest level because you need not only your character to be the right level but your main story quest needs to be at that level or guessing things like deep dungeons certain dungeons maybe could us cry things like that or it looks maybe beyond it i will not mention things that you automatically unlock just from doing the main story quest or your class and job quest because that is your top priority and uh yeah they're they're basically you want to keep them always to your level like you're always going to lock a skill if you do your job your job qu class quest or whatever um this is something i think watching a bit of asman's streams um a lot of people just like no do this do the same as rich rich campbell's they'll be like no 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 you gotta do you gotta do these all the time you know i'm just gonna assume that you are doing that stuff first and getting all the unlocks that you get naturally just from going through the story doing your class and job quests for yeah. side features that I choose to skip, I'll explain at the end of each expansion's section why I consider those features optional and why I think it's fine to just put them off to the next level or whenever you feel like it. That does include all of the crafting and gathering <coughs> content. Does that mean you can always <laughs> get your hand jobs later? Excuse me? Hand jobs? Where, where, when do we unlock them? What, what quest is this? I thought this was something you paid Gil in the back streets of Uldar. Uh, if you go into the right streets, <laughs> you, you actually can acquire these hand jobs. Okay. Again, please refer back to this FXV gamer. I think she actually means the uh, the things like you know when you hand stuff in for experience, you know, like at your uh, like for me the flame lieutenant's area quartermaster thing, like for your like crafting and gathering and things like that. Escape article for the quest unlock info. The purpose of this video today is not to just give you all of the all of the information about all the quests and stuff, because that's here on Gamer Escape. I'm here to show you which quests are important yeah, there's a ton. and which ones you can put off to later. At level 10, you can unlock the other classes that you had seen a character creation that does include Rogue, which turns into Ninja later, so... Yeah, I didn't... I, I always wondered about that. I just thought you had to visit the cities. I didn't realize you had to be actual level 10 in a job to do this. I guess it's easy to miss level 15 the challenge log is super important do not miss this because not unlocking it is like flushing xp down the toilet like yeah your challenge logs is great like it's a bit like your hunt logs great experiences for little things it is a weekly log that gives you big <coughs> big xp just for doing stuff you'd probably do anyway like doing dungeons giving commendations to other players things like that at level 15 you can also unlock glamours dies and the 
the true end game. Glamour's and uh, glamour and dying. I think this is what, again, watching a few Asman's streams, just to see like he's doing really good actually. To be honest, like, just to see like how he reacts to some of this stuff, because I think in WoW I think it's just given to you like transmog. Um, but he obtained the Odin armor, and I think he was trying to lock this actually yesterday. The glamour thing. Vision, obviously, these are not required, but it's stuff that I would personally consider to be urgent. And uh, the NPC who does the die and glamour unlocks is right next to the waking sands, where you're going to be returning yeah. anyway, uh, along. So I mean, it's all the <clears throat> the beauty is only skill deep, scalp deep. Sorry, <laughs> that um. The, the thing about this game is when you create your character at the beginning, you've got a certain amount of set, you know, like hair, styles, things like that, but as you progress through the game, you actually unlock more. Um, so it's always good to check out or if every patch, they tend to add two or three sometimes. On the way, though frankly nobody needs a good glamour more than she does, <laughs> like this outfit. And the esthetician yeah. is of course the barber to change your hair's cut. <laughs> If you have a hair. That's got to be a dig at Asman. I I'm guessing she's going <clears> to <throat> wait for him to do a reaction video to this. It could be the day, maybe. Um, I'd imagine. Or someone would tell him about it in the next couple of days. So uh, that will be a dig at Asman. It's got to be. Level 17, retainer access. Super important because this is your bank and it is the way you put things up yeah. for sale on the market board. For other players to buy uh, though if you are on the free trial you cannot hire a retainer also at <coughs> 17 the retainer ventures these are little mission uh can be quite helpful these but nine times out of ten will bring back you a door or a fence for your house or something stupid i don't know where they get them from or what adventures i don't know if they go into the neighborhood and be like okay i'm gonna nick this guy's bin and then bring it back to us i, I don't know that's what mine seems to do things you can send the retainers out on to get them to level up. It can take a while for them to level up, so might as well get started on that. Palace of the Dead. Now, this yeah. is the deep dungeon that people often go to to level alt jobs in, especially under level 40. It's um, great for experience. Level, we'll be getting through the first 50 floors. There's a story that goes along with it, and I suggest grabbing, like, three friends for it. You can also solo it, but... I think I've had some some the most fun um, doing this content. This and Heaven on High is similar to it. Um, with me, with a couple of me friends, we've run it a couple of times, and it's uh, yeah, it's been some good fun, good experience and things as well. Get some nice mounts apart. and things. I will drop a link in the description box down below to a guide that I always use for Palace of the Dead. <coughs> uh, but once you've cleared the first 50 floors, you will then be able to queue for floors at 50. If I remember, I'll link that as well. At the NPC with a matched party, and that's usually what people spam to level alt jobs. At level 20, you get your first mount. And finally, this is right after you pick your grand company through the main story quest and the. Uh, comment below which ones I would be interested to hear which which actual. F let's say faction or town or uh, you joined I kind of went with Immortal Flames uh, just because I, I started off as a monk and I started in that town and in Uldar plus I kind of thought the Immortal Flames sounded cooler as well company seals that you need to buy your chocobo issuance quest item to get the mount will be given to you mm -hmm. by I think the next main story quest you really don't want to forget this unlock because See, when I first did this, I had to grind a hell of a lot of fates. When, <clears throat> again, when I watched Asmund sort of unlock it, yeah, um, it was literally through the next quest, like she says. If you do, you'll be out of part. <laughs> At level 29, there is a quest that will allow you to go out the back gate of Gridania. So, I mean, in just five <laughs> seconds, mine is I actually forgot it. about it's that. Fantasy, so you have to... Throw wide the gate. But we'll get it later. At level 30, mm. you can and should unlock PvP, but you can It's such a shame, like, because I did a lot of PvP in Seal Rock in them days, um, when I was on and off with it, with the game. Um, and, like, I do love, I do like PvP, and they've, they've really simplified it, which is, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing when I play it. Um... Yeah, I just wish the queues were better. Not PvP if you are on the free trial. That said, PvP gives a really good XP, especially the daily frontline roulette. 
Uh, but I would say... Yeah, a lot of people forget about that. <clears throat> I would definitely recommend doing a front line a day. If you, I mean, I forget all the time as well, but it is a really good experience. Keeps the queues alive slightly as well. Go to the Wolves Den first and set up your bars oh, before yeah. you queue in. Because you'll be in for a rude surprise when you queue into the match and your bars are completely borked and unrecognizable. It'll be like a PV UI. So. Yeah, so how like PV, if you've never done the PvP, is... It used to be your actual hotbar with the odd stun, but now when you go there, you get a whole different hotbar, and your skill could be like if you do a certain three button rotation, like most classes mainly have, it's literally just click one button and the icon will change. So it's, it's a bit it's a bit weird okay. to get into. Shout out to the PvP Revival Discord, by the way, if you're wanting to do more PvP. Oh, okay. Plenty of events happening all the time. At level 30, I haven't joined that, I should. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you get your chocobo to fight alongside you, and I mean, depending on how bad you are at the game, it could be really, really helpful. Nah, it's really helpful. It be uh... while leveling Paladin, level thirty-five, the Sunken Temple of Karn dungeon access, and you. Car God damn! Like I don't know if they nerfed this, but I remember very first going into this dungeon, uh, and it was so friggin' hard. Like the first, was it like the first? couple of bosses or even ads like everything seems to just one shot you if you don't do the right thing and it was just really hard and things no one knew what was going on and yeah it was horrible Aren't past it's that. not too bad now it's really I easy i would typically recommend that you unlock these side dungeons that become available as you're leveling because they are there to help yeah. you with xp level 38 why wouldn't you want to do them dungeon access level 44 not the most fun dungeon cut his cry it's literally just floor after floor after floor i think it's not the best one but it's all right A dark hole dungeon don't even bother unlocking this it's just <laughs> i hate this dungeon so much Nah, I would unlock it just to do the content, but still, it's, it's crap. There's two ways to unlock it, either from Fart of Fear or Shadows on Cans. Level 47, the RM This should just be deleted. Just, 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 just straight up delete this dungeon. It's not, that's I hate it. Male dungeon, which is Final Fantasy 14. It's been nerfed, Twitter though, I believe. Is certain a great bosses. dungeon. No, I wouldn't mind. No, no, the the word. At level forty-seven, you also <laughs> the do. adventurer squadrons. I love this feature because these are a team of AI bots that will pretty much. I don't know why I found this so complicated. The squadrons, because I got to a certain level and you keep sending them on missions and they lose stats, but then gain stats. So it's a bit. Mm, yeah. Which carry you through Realm Reborn dungeons and. You can level them up so they become very strong, and they don't care if you just sit on your butt and do nothing while they do all the hard work of clearing the dungeon for you. But do not take them through hard mode dungeons. Don't do that. Uh, you do need second lieutenant rank in your grand company to unlock the Adventure Squadron, so I'll put a link in the description box down below that <coughs> explains how to rank up in your grand company if you don't know. Level yeah. 50. So, first off, at I actually need to go back and check that because I believe someone in the FC told us in one of the patches they actually upgraded the level you can get to. I'm not too sure. I just seem to be maxed out on it for ages now. Level 50. Know that if you own the Stormblood expansion, you can already go and unlock Samurai and Red <coughs> And also, I would suggest unlocking the Hunt at your brand company. Because yeah. uh, well, it's a big game feature. <laughs> Keep in mind that you can hunt mark bills do not grant XP, but starting in Heaven's Ward and beyond, you will get XP for the hunt mark bills. But you need to have unlocked the Realm Reborn hunts before you can actually you unlock. Okay. You can actually unlock like level 50, you may and things, notice I think. that there is a buttload of side content now unlockable. This is uh, can be very stressful, but just know that you can yeah. safely skip most of it for now. All you actually need is 24 man hard mode versions of ifrit titan and garuda trials earth wind and fire and you also need the crystal tower raid series yeah. in its entirety do that and you are good to go unlocks basically your roulettes and they are great features to have i guess great uh, great features great it is a great feature to have obviously but it's great the, yeah it is great content right on to have as well I will show on the screen for a minute, though, all of the side dungeons, trials, and raids. Uh, <clears throat> okay. My head's probably in the way, but it's basically... That's your list for all your stuff. 
I'll leave it on there. You might want to pause it or not. ...that are able to be unlocked by level 50. So it's just a bit easier to make sense of all of it. And like I said, you can do all this whenever, so don't be overwhelmed by this list. But I personally would recommend um, Lost City of Amdekor Dungeon. This dungeon used to actually be probably one of my favorites back in the day when I used to run it. Um, I just liked the look of it. I didn't think I would. The music is... Oh, the atmosphere of the music is so good. Like, it could be something to do with Fantasy Seven. I can't remember. And Tams are a hard dungeon. I really mm, love those. Uh, not the best. Do not do the trial Earth's Fount or any extreme trials in the Duty Finder. Use Party Finder for that. And also, do not attempt the Binding Coils of Bahamut in the Duty Finder. It is extremely hard. If you, like, I don't think you'll even get a cue for it. It is worth doing by yeah, you wouldn't unsynced with some friends, maybe, just so you can see. The <clears throat> extreme trials you might, but 9 times out of 10, there's one, the party finder, and if you want to do it sort of unsynced, uh, not unsynced, sorry, synced with minimum level, no echo, all that. Again, Asmund done this the other day on his Gruda, good video to watch. It is a challenge, but 9 times out of 10, now you go into party finder, you just blitz it and it's done. It's not as much of a challenge some of the new ones in, in uh and one more thing that is in Chatterbringers is though be a crime for me to not tell you to at least get started on is the hildebrand quest i mean not quite mandatory but we're the great doing. they're fun now before i actually move on they do actually the first ones like the first ones before the maybe's heaven's war i'm not too sure about heaven's war they do actually unlock some little fun trials and things, which so the worth getting. On to the Heaven's Word section. I want to go over some of the features that I skipped on our way up to level 50 and why. If you don't care, feel free to just go on, use the video chapters, and skip to the next section. So, the level 10... I can see, like, a lot of pets. I, I don't think I have. So, I'm probably going to, after this video, read a lot of this and then go on to the game and try and, like, unlock them. Guild has to unlock. Now... I skipped this because the buff to Realm Reborn XP makes these alternate sources of XP less important than they may have once been. Also, how good a guild has... I don't think guild has ever been good. Like, I think I just went through them all with friends just to complete them, just to get them out of the way with, but I think they were useless to begin with. Best XP is, is super conditional. Like, it is great for the first time completion bonus if you're around the same level of the guild house. Beyond that, it's mm. kind of crap XP. And so maybe for alt jobs, but then you actually need to unlock leave quests first before you can unlock guild house. And leave quests are another thing I skipped because while they're great for leveling crafters and gatherers, the XP is not super good for battle jobs. And now again, not super necessary with a buff to make sure the XP gain. So it's good for you, crafting and gathering. Maybe I would unlock guild has for all jobs. I'm not gonna tell people it's a rush to get that done. I believe quest sauce rusty. I'm skipping because they're really unnecessary <clears throat> and buying a house is expensive, time consuming, and tedious. Just hard to get in general. Um, unless there's a patch and they add like another like twenty wards on or whatever. Um. Yeah, it's, it's not worth it straight away, unless you have, a, obviously, an FC that has a house, it's maybe worth it to get into that zone. Emotes and minions, obviously not urgent. Level 15, Bold Saucer Unlock. This is just a side content mini game area. Fun, but again, um, not urgent. It's not, but sometimes it's fun to have unlocked. Um, you know, if you burn yourself out trying to get through stories as quick as you possibly can. Uh, yeah, I, I would... I would unlock it just for the fun and yeah, it has some good, good, some good, uh, some good stuff there. I can't get my words out today. I guess it does kind of fall similarly in the category of Hildebrand, but I don't, I don't want to get carried away with like, oh, this is fun, so you should do it. We're trying to keep this as concise as possible. Uh, all materia unlock quests. Materia is not important at low levels. Sightseeing log optional, but doesn't give XP or anything. Treasure hunting fun, but not urgent. Definitely. Yeah, treasure hunting's quite fun. Sighting log, um, yeah, not so much. Uh, it still can be quite good to get them all. We'll do that later. Robberborn Beast Tribes, that's the Sylphs. 
the Sahagan and the Amalja beast tribes. I've done every beast but tribes but the old yeah. ones, so this really I should go back and do the them. The for these beast tribes is not very good. Just the mount. the quests might be easier after you get flying in Realm Reborn. Anyway, the Realm Reborn Relic is just for Glamour, and it is a highly tedious mm. process that is best done on yeah. max level. Yeah, did it on me, Monk, and it was a nightmare. Over the Blue Mage job that you can unlock when you're level 50, as long as you finish the Ultimate Weapon Main Story Quest. That's because Blue Mage is entirely side content and not a real job. Heaven's or Can be fun if you've got a couple of friends going, trying to unlock all the, uh, the skills for it, but yeah, it's not necessary. So... At level 50, when the main story takes you to the Heavensward City, you can then unlock the Heavensward jobs, Astrologian, Machinist, and Dark Knight. Then mm -hmm. at level 51, there's a new dungeon, side dungeon, the Dusk Vigil. Also at level 51, you can unlock flying in the Kurthus Western Highlands Heavensward Zone, though unlike in Realm Reborn, where you got flying just from doing the main story quest, from now on, you will now need to get Aether Currents to unlock flying in a zone. Each zone has 15 ether currents that you need. One comes from the main story quest. Four come from blue unlock quests in the zone. Sometimes like a peripheral. Um. Yeah. It, you get like a compass, and it's a bit of a ball ache in a way. Some of them, not all of them, because most of them you get them through like a quest, through story, like quest story. Sorry. Um. It's. Yeah, don't don't just get a friend to fly you around. I mean, I did in the odd zone once I completed the zone. I couldn't find the one or two of them. And if one of my friends had it, they would like, yeah, just hop on, I'll take you to it. And yeah, it was better than trying to run around all the mountains and whatnot. Control zone to it, like a hub. And there are 10 ether currents you need to hunt down and click on to unlock flying in the zone. You can check your progress on this in the travel menu under ether currents anytime. Yeah. And as a reminder, make sure that you are caught up through the appropriate level of your main story quest. So for Focus Western, make sure you're caught up through level 51 of the main story. At level 53, you can unlock your daily hunts for Heaven's Word. These are the ones that start giving you the extra daily XP if you do them. Level 53, Dravidian Forelands Flying. Yes, we want that. Level yeah. 55, churning this flying. You want flying everywhere. Level 56, the rank 2, Heaven's Word Hunts. But it's always nice to when an expansion first comes out, um, and you or you get in a new zone. Uh, it, it, it's always fun to just walk, like actually sightsee by like foot. It actually gives the map a bigger scale. It feels great. But then when you unlock, once you've done so much in that zone, once you get the flying, oh my god, it's so much better. Level fifty-seven, sea of clouds flying. Yes, we want that. Level fifty-nine. We have two more zones we can get flying in. God damn, there is, like, when you look at this, the scale, it is crazy, like, how much stuff you can unlock through these little side quests. Damn, man, I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to read through some of this and see what I need and what I don't, because I've got a feeling I've missed out on a lot. Giovanni and Hinterlands, and as a slot. I'm literally trying to listen to Zeppler. I'm trying to, like, read the text thing as fast as I can. It's crazy, like, there's so much. So much content. At level 60, you can unlock the elite weekly hunts for Heaven's Ward, and you can also unlock Wondrous Tales, which I strongly recommend. Doing it gives a oh, ton yeah. of Oh yeah, I forget about this. If you own Shadowbringers, you can unlock a Dancer and Gunbreaker as soon as you reach level 60. And just like with Realm Reborn, when you hit level 60 and you finish your Heaven's Ward story, you're going to be flooded with a ton of blue unlock quests <sighs> yet again, but... Pretty pause off you guys. Uh, yeah. Jeez. <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot. Good news. You can safely ignore them and move right on to Stormblood. As before, I will show you a list of all the side dungeons, trials, and raids that you could unlock at 60 you know, at your leisure. Personally, I would suggest the Warring Triad. That's the three bosses with the containment bay names before moving on to Stormblood. It's not required, but it's pretty sweet. For dungeons, I love Lost City of Amdor, so I also, of course, like the hard yeah. version. Side note. Hard versions are not hard. I don't know why they're called that. It's just different. It's a different, different part of the map, yeah. I also recommend Fractal Continuum because it has a really nice soundtrack. Like before, with Realm Did of War, I'll now mention stuff that I skipped on our way to level 60. Heaven's Word Beast Tribes XP rewards are still not the best, but they're cool. So I hope you will do these Beast Tribes later. That's the bath. Vanu Vanu. 
So yeah, I, I, I don't really do it. I know it sounds stupid for the actual experience. I, I've done them for like the mounts, the cosmetic stuff, the minions, the dancers, <laughs> all that sort of stuff. And Moogle, but Moogles are crafters. The Heavensward Relic path. Now that's the animal weapons. They are for glamour and really best done at the next level. relics. Yeah, there's more sightseeing log, more Hildebrand, all optional stuff, and a Stone Sky C that is for checking DPS. But you should not be worried about that while leveling. All right, Stormblood. So the first major unlock I would point out is a Stormblood at one star hunts access. Then level 63, we have two star hunts access. Have it on high, very similar to Palace of the Dead, only for level 61 plus. Here, people tend to spam floors at 21 through 30 in a matched party for XP when leveling all jobs. Yeah, it's very good. Level 64, flying in Yansha. Level 66, Azim Step flying. And level 66 is also the uh, three star hunt. You can upgrade your hunts there. Level 67, fringes flying. A lot of it is just hunts yes, and flying, it seems. Obviously. Need to fly. Want to get the expansions? Nine, the peaks flying. <laughs> yeah, you'll be flying over the peaks, all right. So never mind. So level seventy is the <laughs> locks flying, and Stormblood Elite hunts access, as before with reaching the level cap and finishing that expansions story. <laughs> I'll pause it again. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, a lot, a lot of the seems. A Realm Reborn sets you up for like some some of the better stuff. Um, again, Heaven's Ward, Stormblood. I'm guessing Shadowbringers might be the same. Shadowbringers might have a bit more extra to it, but it seems like it's just okay. These are the trials you unlock. These are the dungeons. These are the hunts. These are the flying. Um, these are the raids. You know, it's it's a lot of it's just knocking all the flying. Really, it's. Once again, faced with a plethora of unlocks for side dungeons, trials, and raids. But as before, you do not have to do any of this now. You are safe to move right along to Shadowbringers and you know, do the side stuff when you feel like it. But for me, what stands out here, if you're just looking for suggestions, is the Ivalis raid storyline. It's required for your Shadowbringers relic weapon if you plan on doing that. That's the good thing about Farsi is a lot of the stuff you have to, is irrelevant. Like, is relevant, sorry. Um, things like the Crystal Tower that you've done in Realm Reborn does actually need to be done sort of in a way to progress in Shadowbringers and things. Like, it's it keeps content alive. It's really clever. And maybe the Omega Raids on normal mode just for the story. Um, the writer for Shadowbringers, who's also doing the main writing for Endwalker, su suggested that you do Omega for Endwalker. Yeah. So I'm just she, that she, out there. She, yeah, oh, done a really good job with Shadowbringers. Housing bringers. unlock for Kugane Residential District because kind of <coughs> a house will sidetrack you massively. Impossible. I would recommend actually waiting to Landwalker when the Ishgard Housing District comes out because I think that will make a lot of new housing plots available. The minion and that is going to be an absolute shit show when that goes live. It's going to be so many people just want to be in the new zone, and it happens all the time. Emote unlocks are of course not urgent. The Stormblood Beast Tribe quest I skipped because they're still not giving great XP here. That is Ananta, Kojin, and Namazu, uh, with Namazu being for crafters and gatherers, though. Um, yeah. I know I'm skipping all the crafter and gatherer stuff in this video, but Namazu quests are really funny. <laughs> like, if you decide to do crafting later, you actually get a quite a unique mount for them. Quest. One last thing that I skipped over was the Eureka unlock that you get at level 70. This is a series of four different instanced zones that are involved in the acquisition of the Stormblood relic weapon. And it's also how you get your dive job. At the time of doing these, uh, like, the, it's it was like great, 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 great. Then it got really grindy. Then it was just follow Hunter and it just sunk. And I actually hated these <laughs> by the end of it. Then when my friends, my well, mainly a couple of friends, pushed us to finish it, and actually, like, I'd just done the content with them. I actually enjoyed it, to be honest. Gear from Stormblood. As Although well as the end raid. I love the Baldessian Arsenal raid. It is definitely side that content raid, yeah. that you can do after you reach next level. Okay, so... You get a really cool awesome amount thing from there. Level 70. Now it is the time to start grabbing nutsacks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know why I, I I don't know why they called the hunt stuff nutsacks, but each to their own. Yes. 
you'll see what I mean when you go and unlock the base hunts for Shadowbringers. Level 72, you can uh, get flying in the lake land. <coughs> Level 73, we have the ill meg flying. Yes, very important. Yep. Plus the two nut hunts. <laughs> I I'm still hunting for my two nut. Like I say, Ulda, back streets. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I know up to this point we have been skipping the Beast Tribe quest, but you do not want to skip Pixies because they give insanely good XP. Definitely worth. Level they 75, do, yeah. Rock Tika, Great Wood Fly. And level 76, Tree Nut Hunts. Unlocked by my favorite quest name in the game. If you seem to have three nuts, I, th I think you need to go and see a, a doctor, but just see. How do you like three nuts? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Level 77. It's just being greedy having three nuts, isn't it? Flying. And level 79, Felucia. Flying. Level 80, the Tempest flying. Look, if you know someone that has a multi seater mount that can just take you to the yes. clearance, you're going to have a better time. And Especially the Tempest. Like, I, I don't highly recommend it for, like, all the zones. Like, it's nice to go by foot unless you've actually completed that zone and you've missed one. You just don't know how to get to it, but the Tempest, Jesus, like, yeah, get, just get someone to help you with that one. And a level 80, also elite hunt access. Also here you can unlock Stone Sky C. That is a way to sort of figure out what your DPS is kind of like. Helpful, uh, since there is no other way to check. I don't know, is there any other way? Mm. Might might be ACT, maybe? I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I didn't recommend that. Check. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. For Shadowbringers, there are two side dungeons Zip. that you should absolutely do right away, because they are freaking amazing. Bang and tune. Absolute bang and tune. I was actually going to do a spoofy last for a reaction video on the on the uh, the twin of music. It's, I might do it. Twinning and Academia and Niter. Do not even hesitate to go do those ASAP. Really There's good. There's also the Eden Eight Man Raid series that you can do. Yeah. And uh, the near Twenty Four Man Alliance Raid Very series. Very good. The Sorrow of Weirlit Trial series and the Bajan Southern Front stuff, which is. The Bajan Southern Front stuff is all related. I actually need to do the new zone and the new raid for them. Um, kind of got stuck in between doing the relic and kind of getting the relic, trying to get the relic finished to go into the new zone, which hmm, I just don't know if just do a new zone. I might, I might have to give up. This might be the first relic and all the expansions I might like actually not complete. Um, due to the the one I'm onto is do a certain amount of fates in Shadowbringers zones, no Shadowbringers, Stormblood and Heavensward zones. But when I go there to do the fates, there's no one there and it just seems to be a grind and it's like, I need 80 in this item, I need 80 in this item and I'm... Then they say like, oh you can just do the 24 man, get 18, 24 mans of Stormblood, 18, 24 mans of Heavensward and I'm just like, nah. Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I might you getting your relic weapon i need some i just need to kick up the so, ass um, to do it yeah there's a lot here once again but now that you're max level you can just freely pick any of them. i'll just quickly pause it for you again um just as i'm pausing i like to say like honestly go over to zeppler's continent and just like it all and uh she does some really good videos and as you can see like this must have took a, a, a long time to put together um kind of sad whatever you want to dive into first. I would suggest maybe start with Sorrow of We're Lit, those trial bosses, uh, because the story is really good. Yeah, so I enjoyed it. I think it's safe to put off on your way to level 80. Well, obviously, I skipped to the other beast tribes because they're for crafting and gathering, and I put all the crafting and gathering off. Uh, you can do that at max level, of course. Emotes and sightseeing log. I, skip <clears> I don't actually have that uh, little red dragon mount. I think it's like one of the only crafting ones I didn't. I'm not a big crafter in the game. Um... But I did do the Beast Tribes, it was good for level 1. Do you get around to the Great Serpent unlock? Because it would be wrong to skip that. Great oh, Serpent no. is beloved by the community, so that's why I said It's like a dad joke. And, oh, and get your, uh, get your lolly, huh? You know? 
then I guess we're just going to be catching up on all the stuff that you put off up to this point. I think you're going to be very busy for a while. Buns, I hope this video was helpful for you. I decided to not overwhelm you even more with a ton of quest unlock info in this video. I just wanted to direct you to this article um, so that you can check the quest requirements there. I didn't want to clutter the screen too much and I didn't want to like overwhelm I thought it was very informative. It would help a lot of people out. Way I could. Um, yeah. Try to show you which things are important and which things you can actually skip. If you like this video or you found it helpful, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon or on Twitch. Yeah, I'll leave all our links in, in the description. Or by sharing this video with your fellow Warriors of Light. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link everything down. Like, please go over and follow and like. And, you know, same with our Twitch. Um, if you want to support even further, like, give her a sub. Uh, it does help her. Uh, yeah, it was a really good video. I'm, I'm gonna actually bookmark that link to you know the website with all the way to unlock everything, because you know like <laughs> there's probably a ton of stuff I forgot. It's re I mean I I sort of hope a lot of the new WoW players actually watch a bit of this to try and hopefully unlock some stuff because I just at the beginning just literally done every side quest, every unlock mission, everything because I didn't have the blue icon and. When I came back to it, it was like they had the icon, and then it was just, oh, it was just, yeah, it'll be helpful. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe. I do actually have a Twitch channel. I'm going to start streaming more onto that. Just been really busy with work lately. Um, please leave a follow on that. That it, it, it does help us out. And thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day.